Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Salar Khan YouTube channel. We've started discussing the topic of clippers, right? We saw the introduction video. Uh, we've seen the introduction in the previous video. I hope you have watched that video, right? Yes. So, uh, anyway, starting uh, the, the, the topic with the series clippers. Starting the topic with the series clippers. So what would this suggest? This would suggest that the diode is in series with the load resistor. So let's say, let's say I have a circuit. I don't name it a DC or an AC. I name it as an input voltage source. I name it as an input voltage source. And I have the load resistance RL. Right? So this is my input and let's say I am taking the output from here as output. Let's say I name the polarity as plus minus and I take the polarity of this also as plus minus. Considering this is an ideal diode and this resistor having any value. This is an ideal diode D. So what happens is the diode is forward biased when the input voltage will be greater than zero. It would be reverse biased when the output voltage is less than zero, input voltage. So let's say the first case. For forward biasing the diode, V diode should be greater than zero and the voltage across the diode is only the input voltage. So this implies that if the input voltage is greater than zero, this would imply that the diode is forward biased and if it is forward biased, this implies that we have a short circuit equivalent and we have a current in the circuit and that current suggests what? That the output voltage is simply equal to the input voltage. This is a simple half wave rectifier circuit, right? Then what do you have? When the voltage is negative. So if the voltage across the diode is negative, that means if the input voltage is negative. This would imply that this is reverse biased and for the reverse bias, you know that this would be an open circuit. So no current will flow and this means that the output voltage would be zero. Output voltage would be zero. And what can you do? You can consider a waveform. Let's say a square wave in this case. Let's say a square wave in this case. This is my V input with respect to time. So if the positive cycle is like this, negative cycle is like this. It repeats in such a manner. So the output would be what? The output would be, you know, that the, 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 in the forward bias case, V0 would be equal to V input and in the reverse bias case, this would be equal to zero and this repeats. Understood? So now, now we do what? We name this circuit. We name this circuit and uh, uh, first let's say we draw the transfer characteristics for this as well so the transfer characteristics are what that are the output voltage versus the input voltage in this case because the known input quantity is also voltage the known output quantity is also voltage so when v input is greater than zero v output is equal to v input so when V input is greater than zero, V output is equal to V input, which means you have a 45 degree angle, slope is equal to one like this. And when V input is less than zero, V output is zero. So these are the transfer characteristics of this, this circuit. Now the name, so the name is that if you have a look over here, you, do you have an additional source other than the input? No, so this is an unbiased. The, the, the voltage, the, the diode is in the series with the load. So you have an unbiased series and has it and it has clipped the negative portion. So this is an unbiased series negative clipper. 
this is how you name the circuit right now coming to example the next example the next example let's say i draw it over here again in the similar fashion i have the input voltage i have the diode i have resistor but i have a, a source as well now a dc source this is i suppose let's say a plus minus input this is let's suppose a vr the reference voltage this is a resistor r this is an ideal diode d the voltage across this terminal is let's say the output voltage having a polarity of a plus minus let's say for simplicity you could also include a resistor over here so we'll include it when this gets a little tough if it gets confusing right anyways what is this now have a look so you have you have two sources now which would be acting on the diode to make it forward or reverse bias so to determine the state of the diode you have to consider each of them individually and then the greater one would have a greater that so so, so depending on the greater value you would say that the diode is on or off so have a look v input is also v input plus side is connected to the p side for reference so this is forward biasing the diode over here plus side is connected to this so it is reverse biasing the diode now the thing is it depends on the greater value if we input is greater diode is forward biased if we reverse is greater reference is greater the diode is reverse biased so how do we write it generally we write it for the diode to be forward biased i use the red color so the voltage across the diode should be greater than zero for it to be forward biased when the voltage across the diode is what this is also a positive terminal this is also a positive terminal so which means v input minus v reference should be greater than zero or or this implies that the v input should be greater than the v reference if this is the case the diode is forward biased and if it is forward biased this implies what that we would have a current in the circuit and v naught which is this would be equal to uh, 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 what would be equal to v input or what no v naught would be equal to v, v input right yes because this branch is in parallel with this you uh, you could also have this value and this value so that will also be the same you don't need to confuse it for instance you could consider a resistor over here through which you are taking the output right yes so v naught would be equal to v input this is for if V input is greater. Similarly, for the reverse biasing case, the voltage across the diode should be less than zero. Right? So, which means that V input minus the reference voltage should be less than zero. And or this could say that V input should be less than the reference voltage. Right? So, if V input is less than the reference voltage, this is reverse biased. And reverse bias means what the ideal diode is replaced by an equivalent open circuit so no current is flowing and the only thing across the diode is the output terminals you have v output would be equal to the reference voltage vr why is this vr so if you draw the circuit you have this would be open circuited and this if and this if this is open circuited so the current in this branch would be zero if the current is zero so you don't have any voltage drop across the resistor r so which means only vr is left so v naught is equal to vr so let us draw a a a, a what a sinusoidal input let's say for for the simplicity purposes it could be any any signal right we input with respect to time if this is let's say the the input and now what happens is the have a look for the polarity plus direction matches with this plus plus direction matches with this plus this is called positive biasing right so which means you have this plus we are somewhere over here this is somewhere over here so which means if i if i extend these lines let's say i extend these lines this is my time axis let's say this is my output axis so what happens if we input we input is greater than we are so which means this portion which means this portion 
In this portion, V input is greater than V R, so V not is equal to V input. So in this portion, V not is equal to V input. And what happens when the input voltage is less than V R? Applied input voltage less than V R, the output voltage is equal to V R. Wait. Yes. The output voltage is equal to Vr. So in this portion, this is Vr. This is Vr. This will also be Vr, right? For the negative cycle. And in a similar fashion, this would repeat. So now this difference that came, this difference that came on the basis of the, the another source that was present over here, right? Yes. So let's say we draw the transfer characteristics. You would say that I told you that it would not affect the rest of the waveform whereas it has affected the rest of the waveform a little and this is due to this external source. If we don't have any external source, so it will not affect the rest of the waveform. If we have the external source, we can have a little change. Output versus input. So when V input is greater than Vr, so let's say you have somewhere over here is Vr. So when V input is greater than Vr, V0 is equal to V input. And if V input is less than V R. Wait. Yes, yeah, so it is equal to V R. So let's say we also have some. This is equal to V R. So let's say we have the value of V R over here also. We would consider. So so let's say this is the case. V input is less than V R. We have V R. Fine. And when V input is greater than V R. V output is equal to V input. So these are the transfer characteristics. Now let's name the circuit. Let's name the circuit. So what would be the name? The name would be, first have a look. It is biased or it is unbiased? It is biased. It is biased. And then is it positive biased? It is negative. It is positive biased. Have a look to the polarity. This is greater than zero, we would say positive bias and then the diode is in series with the load positive biased series negative portion is clip negative clipper this is the name for this circuit this red is for this circuit let's say we have a third let's say we have a third so we do what we reverse the polarity of this uh, the diode is in the same direction? Yes, the diode is in the same direction. This is the diode. We have a load resistor. We have reversed the polarity of the reference voltage. If this is my input voltage, let's say plus minus. Let's say this is a plus minus, you know, we are, let's say this is a load resistor R. Let's say this is an ideal diode D. The output is taken across these terminals where you have, let's suppose a positive minus V naught. Now again, have a look. So the diode has to be forward biased when, when the voltage across it is greater than zero. So when VD is greater than zero, this is forward biased. And what is VD in this case? So VD in this case is the input voltage, V in, this is connected to the plus side. And over here, have a look, minus. So minus of minus. V input minus, minus VR should be greater than zero. Which implies what? That input voltage plus Vr is greater than zero or input voltage is greater than minus of Vr. So this would be forward biased in that case. We would have a current through the circuit and V output would be equal to V input in that case. Right? Yes. Why? Because this is making it forward biased. Have a look. Plus is connected to P side, but over here a negative is connected to the N side. 
so which means that this is also making it forward biased right or not so the net effect depends on the both you you just need to go for the voltage across the diode and you know it from your circuit analysis how to calculate voltage across any point similarly for if it has to be reverse biased if vd is less than zero this implies what that v input plus vr should be less than zero or this implies that the input voltage is less than minus of vr so in that case the diode would be reverse biased and if the diode is reverse biased this would be an open circuit no current would flow through this resistor no voltage drop the only thing across the output would be this vr v output is equal to but have a look this is this has to be a minus vr and why is this a minus VR? Is this a minus VR? Yes, it is. Why? Because have a look for the polarity. This is plus minus. This is this is minus plus. So V naught is equal to minus of VR. So let us draw the graphs. Before this video gets boring, before it gets lengthy, let us just finish it. Input. It would repeat. Output voltage. So have a look. We are the, 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 the reference is minus of VR, right? So have a look. Let's say this is my minus of VR. This is minus of VR. So what happens when the voltage is greater than minus of VR? We output is equal to V input. So we output is equal to V input till this point. Till this point the output voltage is greater than VR and then when the input voltage is less than VR in that case this would be equal to negative VR this is equal to negative VR and I believe that this is clear this is right so this is at t this is at t by 2 and this would repeat in such a manner right yes let us draw the transfer characteristic the transfer characteristics is the output voltage versus the input voltage let's say we have a minus of vr somewhere over here let's say we have a minus of vr somewhere over here so when V input is less than minus of VR, the output voltage is equal to V input, which means like this, straight line, right? Less than minus of VR, you have V input. And when it's greater than minus of VR, the output voltage is equal to minus VR. So this is the case. This point is minus VR, the green. Yes, it is like this. It now. I have just made it wrong, I believe. When we input is a... Yes, I made it wrong. I made it wrong. Yes, yes, yes. Just give me a second. Just give me a second. I just remove this. I have removed this, right? And if you have a minus of vr over here so what do you have have a look when v input is greater than minus of vr first let's say for the less when v input is less than minus of vr so v naught is equal to minus of vr so have a look this is the case right and then when v input is greater than minus vr so v output is equal to v input and it would pass through the origin through a 45 degree angle having the slope equal to 1. So I believe I just made it a little boring in the end. But I hope the idea is clear. The main idea is clear. And we have not named the circuit. We have not named the circuit. So have a look. Is it biased? Is it unbiased? It is biased. Right? So uh, uh, let's say I remove this portion. 
is biased right and is it positive bias is it negative it is negative bias because i will look for the polarity is opposite to the input and the output so this is a negative biased and then what a diode is in series with the load so this is a negative bias series and a negative portion has been clipped so negative clipper so we have seen all the three cases that i told you for the one of the series for the series positive uh, series negative clipper so for the series negative clear we've seen the unbiased case positive biased case negative biased case for series clipper in the next video we see the series positive clipper unbiased positive positive bias positive negative bias positive yes that is it see you in the next video very soon till then take care goodbye